Hi everyone! Welcome to another video. So today what I have for you is things that I just recently got. And I'm not going to do everything I got because I went shopping on Express. I went on even Abercrombie and Fitch, which I like never shopped there, but they had a really good sale. And I even got this recently, which I'm loving. It's so like different from what I usually wear. It's got these really huge puffy sleeves, but I feel like you can kind of tuck it into itself, make it look a lot more normal. So I've been doing that and I've been wearing this to death, especially because the weather's a little bit cooler. So you can wear like, I have this really cute tank top and then if it gets a little cold, I'll just throw this over when it's not freezing, obviously, because this is very thin, but yeah totally off topic. What I was going to say is I'm only going to show you things that you can go into the mall and get yourself or that are easy to find, pre-loved, or even just small other things that I just recently got. So I'll show you very first thing is the Chanel perfume. So I'm a little picky when it comes to perfume and a lot of perfumes give me a headache. So I was really happy that this one didn't, and I was really surprised. And this would be a Chanel perfume. And I already wore it, but then I put it back in the box. It is Gabrielle. It's not the other one that's like Essence or something, because that one's way too strong for me. But I got the regular Gabrielle, where I feel like the smell is just right. So it comes like this, a nice plain little bottle. A nice little top and I've of course got this at Macy's where I'm like I just love Macy's because I feel like you can get everything there like you can go Christmas shopping and get like everyone something or just whatever you need to go shopping for get something for you something for them there's so many different departments not sponsored again by the way but I just love shopping there so the reason I like this particular set is because it comes with I'm not huge on too, too many lotions, so they don't usually get my attention. Okay, I can't pull that out. I'm just going to show you. It comes with this one. It's a little travel um, perfume atomizer, and I love it because a few other perfumes that I have came with them, and they're so pretty. They're refillable, and that way you can have it in your purse or in your car, wherever, and you can always just make sure you smell good. So I thought this was really, really a good deal. Instead of just the big one, you get this one, and this is one of my favorite sets. And currently, I'm loving the smell. I used this perfume today, and I just love, love, love the way it smells. I didn't feel like it was overwhelming, but I only spray once. I, I'm not the type of person that can spray more than once. Like I said, I get headaches, and I feel like it's lasted me several hours already. So this is definitely one I think you guys should head in and smell. Chanel Gabrielle. And then when it does come to lotions, I'm picky. I have a Bond number, is it number nine? I have a Bond number nine lotion and I love it. It's so pricey, but Bond number nine is honestly one of the best brands ever for perfumes, colognes, lotions. So my dad every single year gets Wall Street by Bond number nine. That's his go-to scent and I usually get it for him. Sometimes my sister does and he goes through the bottle quickly because it's his favorite one. And another lotion that I have other than the Bond number nine one, this one's actually brand new. Why am I already opening it? I already kind of destroyed the box but I put it back in for you guys. It is this Tiffany's one and this was pricey. I also got it for Macy's but it's so different from your typical lotion. Like first, just the packaging alone, it's heavy. Like this is actually heavy. So it comes in this beautiful jar and then it also says like Tiffany's like right there. And I just love it. I think it's so elegant looking. Like you can put that in on your dresser or wherever you keep your lotions. And it just, it doesn't look like your typical lotion. And it's such a good lotion. It's not just because it's Tiffany's. I promise you, you've got to go in and try it out. This is hands down so good. I mean, it leaves your skin feeling smooth. The smell is incredible. And look, even the inside of the lid is so pretty. It smells amazing. This is, I think, my very, very favorite lotion. Hands down, like no competition. Again, I don't remember how much it costs. It's somewhere around 100 or so. So it is pricey for lotion, but you're going to love it. And especially if you're giving anyone a gift, whether it's 
anniversary or birthday or Christmas or whatever the occasion is, I think that a Tiffany's lotion, this one, is really good. So here's what the bottle, the box looks like. Again, I kind of just smashed the box, but you get the point. So it's this one right here. And this one was also from Macy's and highly, highly recommend if you want to get this for yourself and just pamper yourself. So, so good. So next, I was, I know what you're thinking, you don't need sunglasses, but I have three more sunglasses that I got. I'm almost embarrassed about it. So I got two pairs of Chanel sunglasses and one more Gucci. And here's one of the Chanel's. It comes in this beautiful white case. They didn't have too many white cases, by the way, so don't get your hopes up. I think this was the last one, and I was like, dibs. So just ask them, because they don't usually offer up the nice cases first. Like, you have to kind of just ask. And that's for anywhere you go, not just... I went to Sunglass Hut, but if you go anywhere else, you, you, you gotta kind of, like, ask. So this is what the sunglasses look like on. I love these. I saw these online, and I wasn't sure what they would look like on me. So I definitely went in person to try them on first and ended up getting them in this style because they had the cat eye i think i think they had two maybe three different way uh shapes for this one and they have different colors but i just really like this one that it's like clear and grayish gray is my favorite color so i just thought this one was definitely perfect for me i like the fit of it it's not too crazy it's definitely like a classic shape and so for me this is just perfect and i probably would have gotten it just for the case anyway you know me, sucker for packaging. And my other pair, also Chanel sunglasses. Different case, totally different from my other ones too. And the glasses are these. So I find these cute because they look from the front like your typical cat eye. Just your very standard, very normal shape. But then right here, it has Chanel just written in there. I can show you. I just love that. I think that is so, so very unique. Just a nice little hint. And then the side of the leg just has the small CC there. And I love this one. I've actually been wearing these two like crazy. I think I got them not too, too long ago. And I've just been alternating because where I am, it's super sunny. So I definitely am con I can't leave the house without sunglasses. And so that's a good thing I have so many because I get to rotate them a lot. Like there's hardly any sunglasses that don't get used in my collection. So insanely happy with those two sunglasses. Like I literally use them more than I thought I would. So this next pair, I keep taking everything out without showing you. So it came in this little dust bag, Gucci. And then inside there was this little case. And I meant to do that. Of course I would drop the sunglasses. Okay, so <laughs> inside that was these sunglasses. So these are pretty cool looking. I like them. They have just a little like Gucci symbol right there. And this is what they look like on. So nothing too, too crazy. But what I like about these is they make the whole day look brighter. Like I actually wore these today and it was kind of gray skies. And I hadn't even noticed until I took these off when I got to my destination. And I was like, whoa, the sky is a lot grayer than I thought it was. Like everything's so much happier when you wear these. Like I love it. And I think they're just like they're definitely oversized. But I feel like. Anyone can kind of pull them off. Like, I know they're a little out there, especially for me in particular, but I definitely think these are worth it. These are super, super cool. And Gucci keeps coming out with different styles like this. I think I showed you guys before, I have one other pair that's very similar. And I know I ended up with two very, very similar pairs, but I feel like they're different enough. Like, these are more orange. The other ones have more, like, brownish, yellowish hues. So, definitely worth having both, in my opinion. And especially because, like I said earlier, I go through sunglasses like you have no idea. I mean, my husband and I, we're constantly just getting more sunglasses because we use them to death. 
Okay, so on to my next purchase. This one is another Fendi Peekaboo Defender. So as you guys know, I have a red Fendi Peekaboo, and now I have the Defender for it. And I also got a Twilly for it. The Twilly's from Coach. They were having a really good sale, so I went ahead and got this one because it matches my this bag. It's white, like a creamy white and red with little hearts and ladybugs all over it. So very, very cute. And I just put this with... I have to fix it, but it's supposed to be just one little loop coming out like that. And the Defender itself, I love this one. I just think it's super, super nice. Like, I love the fact that now my red bag can be a white bag, like a nice creamy bag. So I feel like this is now more versatile because, I mean, I was going to wear my red peekaboo no matter what like I always matched it to any outfit but I feel like now I can do even more with this and I just love the color I think it's really pretty so this is the medium size well aka the regular size but I think this is so good it came with this too so you can put your information in there I haven't done anything to it but yeah it's just got this red detail and this kind of like a creamy color to it the material feels really good, like water or anything will just slide right off. So I'm really, really happy with this one. I feel like it's just making my bag much more versatile. And even though my bag is the whip stitch design, it still fit in there, as you can see. So I love this purchase. Next, I got something which reminds me of Fendi, but is 10 times more affordable. I went into Kate Spade and I got this little guy. So it's a bag charm. And doesn't it remind you of the Fendi monster? Like obviously it's different and you can tell it's not Fendi, but I just thought it was so cute. It was at Kate Spade. And so the tag's still on there. Um, It doesn't really match with my red Fendi peekaboo because it has pink, black, and white. So I was thinking of actually putting this on one of my Louis bags just because it's a really pretty big charm. So I feel like it can't really go everywhere. So it doesn't, I don't know, I feel like it wouldn't really go with this. Like maybe if I just have the red alone and then this, but even then I don't feel like it would. But I just think it's so cute and it was so affordable. I think this was on sale for like $15 or less at Kate Spade versus at Fendi. This would have been really pricey. So I'm pretty happy with it. They had a ton, and they were all in, like, the clearance section. So, if you're interested, you should hit up Kate Spade. Um, this is at the Kate Spade outlet, too. And on to the last thing I got. This item, I was so surprised how much I liked it. I had zero intention of getting this. It just, I don't know, it had, like, a not a negative connotation, but not anything that I would be interested in. Then I smelled it, and it smelled so good I had to buy it. It is beautiful by Estee Lauder and it is Belle. So it came in this super cute box and I just fell in love. I could not believe that I liked it because so my mom used to wear um, the old beautiful, the just plain beautiful by Estee Lauder and I was really used to that smell. It's a wonderful smell but I didn't even know they were making newer versions so this really caught me off guard because it's not just good. This is amazing. Like, an amazing, amazing perfume. My mom, my sister, and I were all wearing this one because it's so, so good. Like, you should go and give it a shot. It smells so nice. And it didn't give me a headache, so that's a big plus for me because almost everything does. So it came with the lotion, the small bottle, and the big bottle. And, yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed. It's such a good smell. I highly recommend you give it a shot. If you're like me and you're like beautiful i i smelled that so long ago but no this is the new one beautiful bell it's totally worth it it's totally revamped and just a wonderful smell i don't know if they'll still have these packaging but they'll probably have something else just as nice and so it says it retails for 96 but the day that i went to macy's they were having some i forget like 10 or 15 percent off something like that or like if you use your card so definitely check the website or go in person and see what kind of sale they have and i recommend this one big time such such a good perfume very happy with my new perfumes and my lotion also this one guys sells out fast so if you do like it and you happen to see one bottle i wouldn't hesitate 
So that wraps up my video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe give it a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you all for the next video. Have a great day. Bye!